Eye on Sun Valley's Athlete of the Week is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Patrick Buchanan, Agent. Sun Valley Associates is the key to your home, a tradition of excellence since 1962. Put our team to work for you. 208-622-4100. SVAssociates.com. I'm Michael David with Ion Sun Valley Sports, and I'm so pleased to be joined by our Athlete of the Week, a true skiing legend, Dick Dorworth. Dick, congratulations and thanks for being with us. Thank you. Nice to be here. You were selected in part uh, as our Athlete of the Week based on a recent honor by the Ancient Skiers, um, an honor that's given to people in Sun Valley who have made a, made a difference in the community na nationally, around the world, based on your skiing abilities, or in your case, maybe your skiing exploits. Tell yeah, us about yeah. the Ancient Skiers and that, and that honor. Well, the Ancient Skiers are just what they sound like, and uh, they started in the Northwest, but they're from all over the country now. And they come here for a week and spend a week having a great time. And uh, the uh, Peter Wick, who lives here, uh, started this award a few years ago. And it's given to l uh, people who've made a contribution to Sun Valley skiing in particular, but usually it goes beyond that. Sure. And uh, so it was a nice award to have. Yeah. Well, and you certainly have made a contribution. It's a select group of people, um, so uh, well, well deserved. You have held records over the years. Yeah. You, uh, you had the world speed record on skis, 106 miles per hour. Yes. Not on different equipment than uh, people use nowadays. Yeah. You, uh, you had the Diamond Sun Race record, which I believe uh, has been canceled due to the danger of it, so you'll yeah. always hold that. Yes. You obviously have a need for speed uh, deep inside you. Where, where did that come from? Well, it came from a lifetime of, of ski racing. I mean, I ski raced as a kid, and, and that was, uh, um, it, it came uh, not from me, but from my friend Ron Funk, who uh, he had a need for speed, and we were buddies, and he convinced me uh, to go to Chile and try for the speed record after the Diamond Sun. The Diamond Sun is what taught me that I could ski fast and be okay. Right, and so right. we went to Chile and got a record. It was great. And, and going that fast, I mean, what's that feeling when you're going over 100 miles an hour on skis? Well, it, it's great. I, I speed skied for three years, one year in Chile and two years in Italy after that. And uh, when it's going right, it's beautiful. When it's going wrong, it's not so beautiful. It's very scary. Right. And I fell one year in, in uh, Chervinia uh, at 101 miles and got hurt and broke my leg and beat myself up a bit. Um, and a couple other times I had shaky runs. But when it's really working the way it should, it's great fun. Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. yeah. You, you're probably as well known in the ski world for your for your writing as well as your as your skiing. Yeah. You've written uh, uh, two books. Uh, I, I know I, I love. I've, I've written more, four books. Four books. Yeah. I, I love night driving. Yeah, um, good. Yeah, there's a, a very well known short story, the the, the perfect turn. Perfect turn. Countless yeah. articles and yeah. journals. When did you realize that you had that ability to put your passion for sport? into words? Well, I always uh, wanted to be a writer. I grew up an only child at Lake Tahoe in the days when there were no families close by, and so I read. My mom was a reader and I read, and so I always wanted to write. I went to school, I have a degree in English, and so I always, I was going to write, I always knew that, right. and so it seemed natural to write about my life. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, thankfully, thankfully you did that because yeah. you, you put it into words for all of us to enjoy. Yeah. Um, You've also been in a film too, you, uh, uh, and uh, tell us a little bit about uh, about your trip to Patagonia. Well, in 1968, um, um, a group of us drove from California to Patagonia, and we spent six months on this trip. And we drove and we surfed and we climbed a few volcanoes and skied on them in Chile, and then we went and climbed a mountain called Fitzroy, and. Uh, uh, one of our, um, one of the guys with us, Lito Tejada Flores, who's also a very well-known ski instructor, and he's my publisher now. Okay. But Lito had never used a, a motion picture camera. We gave him a Bolex, and he made this film that um, turned out to have been an astonishing film. And the short version of it, Fitzroy won the. Trento Mountain Film Festival that next year, 
And then a longer version called The Mountain of Storms was made from that footage. Great. And that film is available through Patagonia. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, great. Well, so, well, we'll be sure to check that out, too. Okay. Um, you've traveled around the world, found adventure all over the world, but you, uh, you come back and make Sun Valley and catch them home. Why is that? Yeah. Well, I first came here in 1953 as a young ski racer, and I first lived here in 63. And I used to race for Sun Valley when I was a racer. And, you know, it's a, it's a great place. It, it has changed, uh, you know, a great deal. But uh, it's got everything I need, and I like it here, and I have a community here. So it's a good place for me. So you were at the forefront of extreme skiing. Um, what do you think about kind of the evolution of where extreme skiing is now, um, all the different uh, disciplines that they have, and, and kind of the aerials and the things that they're doing? Well, I'm really glad that I'm too old to even think about it. <laughs> That's my short answer. Um, uh, I think in all things, people keep pushing. They always have and always will. Um, so um, uh, just last week, my grandson was here skiing in a bump contest, which is, uh, as such things go, is not considered that extreme. Right. But it seemed pretty harsh to me, and I, I hope his knees are okay when he's 20. And, um, uh, you know, uh, it's, I don't relate to a lot of that because I, I don't, I haven't done that. Right, right. You know, but I understand the spirit of it. Sure, it's about yeah. pushing the envelope. And pushing the envelope. I kind of have a sense that you'd be, uh, you'd be doing that same stuff if you were, but, if you were still But doing fortunately, that. I'm too old. <laughs> yeah. So... Well, th thank you so much for, uh, for, for being with us, Dick. Uh, my guest has been Dick Dorworth, a member of the Skiing and Snowboarding Hall of Fame and a, a true Renaissance man. Uh, I want to thank our sponsors, Patrick Buchanan at State Farm Insurance, all the good folks at Sun Valley Associates, a tradition of excellence since 1962. I'm Michael David with Eye on Sun Valley Sports, keeping my eye on Wood River Valley Sports and Wood River Valley Sports Legends for you. Eye on Sun Valley, daily local news from beautiful Sun Valley, Idaho.